So this is Christmas. Look, it's snowing in Scumland. How beautiful. It's time for a new adventure. I've been getting a bit complacent. Here's Casa Marmite. Changed some of the rules on the server. I'm getting a bit more PvP now. Our map location used to have a whole bunch of little round circles for safe zones. But what I've opted for now is to have one big safe zone. So all the people in this zone can build, commune, and work together. Whilst everyone else outside the zone is having some PvP mayhem. So if you want to do PvE, go to the white zone. If you want to raid people, steal things, find things, shoot people, get shot, go everywhere else. So it's time for me to move house. I've taken everything out of my house apart from furniture. I'm going to leave the blockaded doors here. And I'm going to leave one car here for someone to come and take. But let's blow the house to pieces. Admin mode. If we just take out all of the river supports. Oh, it's deadly. Look at her coming down. Pretty brutal. Oh, the wood makes a much more satisfying sound. Oh, it makes me sad. It makes me sad. But it's going to go anyway. Last bit. Oh, Casa Marmite is no more. Just one strange random piece of support floating around. What else to be leaving here? Anything? Nope. 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 That's it. I guess I could blow the doors off. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. No, I'll leave them open. Leave them open. So if you're looking for a new base and you just want a wall around it to start, here you are. There is a minefield, by the way. It's all around both sides. But it's set because we're smack in the middle of a white zone. Mines don't do any damage. They just make a loud bang. And let you know that someone's trying to creep into your base. So if you want to build here, come and grab it. She's all yours. With the rain falling, it's time to look for a new location. So let's respawn in in player mode. I have indeed entered the safe PVE zone. What a shame. I actually think there's a landminer left over here by accident. They blow me up. <laughs> That's all that happens when you go over the mines. In the white zones, if you're out in the... Why is there a metal cooking pot just floating in the air? My word, that's very strange. Hmm. Doesn't do me much good. Okay, let's make sure we've taken all the maps... Oh, stop it. Taking all the locks off everything. There's no lock on you. And there's no lock on you. Okay, if you want a motorbike... If I wish I could put a motorbike thing on the back of here. I better remove all of the locks. Or should I, should I destroy the doors, just leave it open and let someone build something? Mm, yes, let's destroy it. Destroy it with an axe. Of course, that's what you'd use to destroy the door. And let's destroy... No, let's leave this one on here. And we'll just take the locks off. Uh, 
because I'll need those for my new base. Okay, there's a door for someone to open and close. You can build whatever you like here. The trouble, of course, is it's not defensible at all because anyone can trot up from water. And I was finding things like mines. <laughs> One of the players on here left the proximity sensor mine here for me, which blew me to pieces. It's amusing. And uh, if I left anything sitting around, it gets taken. So I'm going to go off. Me and the Super Marmite Mobile. Where am I off to? I think I'm going to go and build something down here. Because I'm easy access to a bunch of bases. Train place with the mechs. Nice little town there. Another town here. And I think around here is a new location we're going to build a base. Or do we go up and around here near Samovor? Samovor is always fun. Uh, choices. Choices. Let's just get in the car and see which way the urge takes us. Well, farewell, old base. It was fun. I wonder, can I leave a little free to someone? Build here, it's free. Deserted and free sign. I'm not sure I can even build a sign. Blank sign. Can I do that anywhere? Oh, I can. Just put it here. It makes more sense, right? Take it lot. Take it enjoy. Right, supercar. Let's go move to a new location. Goodbye, zombies that always stand around this little base up here. Goodbye, massive motorcycle ramp. Let's head. The pasture's green. That's a good sign, isn't it? As we leave the area, the sun comes out. The rainy rain stops. And we're off on a new adventure. I'm going to have to find a design for something that's one of these so-called unraidable bases. I've seen lots of people touting various design ideas on Rumble and YouTube. But most of my bases so far have been built just for fun. Ah. Oh, goodbye, Brickyard. We had some good times. Using the random driving technique to uh, choose where I'm going to head. Much of good fun this week. I had an old, old friend from uh, England come visit. Jody, who used to be our secretary, receptionist, at one of the first companies I worked for back in the late 80s, early 90s. And uh, became friends with her and her husband. We then became one of my biking buddies and firm friends for many years. Lost touch of them for the longest time when I went to America. And just recently reconnected. She's since remarried. Very nice bloke. And uh, flown out to visit here in Spain. Where we're doing professional alcoholic levels of uh, vino consumption. Hence the distinct lack of uh, scum videos recently for the last week or so. And then today I had to have a liver cleanse. Where am I? I have absolutely no idea where I'm going. I'm going north. Well, I did say I didn't care where I'd end up. I don't really want to go north up to this um, nuclear area though. I'm going to end up... Where did I start? I started here. I think I want to head south, don't I? Also, i just cross over this bridge and then go down here. And No, I think I want to be in the middle-ish. Samabor's going to be a fun one. I 
think I'm going to the island. I think the island is calling me. Let's go up here, head over the bridge. Head south. Take the roads down and see where we go. We're already going this way. Made quite a few minor tweaks on the Marmite server config. And what I've realised is you just can't please everybody. Some folks have said it's too soft. We want harder hitting zombies. Other folks say it's too many zombies. We need less zombies. I wanted to make it PvP. Get a bit more... Ooh, is that a road? Just the road that goes to the bridge. It looks a bit like a dirt road to me. We'll find out. Oh, yes. There's a bridge in the distance. So while some people want... Oh, it's a very small bridge. Some folks want a, P a double bridge. Now I officially don't know where I am. Oh, it's a little tiny bridge. I think this is there's someone's base around here somewhere. There we are. Hey, look at that. What a lovely base. Just on the far outskirts of the uh, safe zone. So yeah, I had to compromise. I had several players ask, ask for the server to be full PvP. And then um, a couple of players wanted it to be more PvE. And their point, which is quite right, is Hey, we've played here for a long time. Hours building bases. And now you're going to make it PvP, you bugger. We're going to lose all that work we put into our bases. So, I had to reach a little bit of a halfway house. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go... And then turn left and go wee all the way down there. I'm going to do. I'll just turn around, head back, take my first left. Okay, I can do that. It just goes to show it's impossible to please all the people all the time. I also upset one of the other players on the server. Tenth. Sorry, Tenth. I missed it. What the hell am I doing? I mean, the completely... Right, I've just got to head directly south from here. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to directions on the computer game. This off roading. This is going to smash my car to pieces. Yeah, I've been doing a combination of um, larking about and torturing tent in recent days. Rather unfairly, but it was funny. I'd spawned, well, funny for me. I'd spawned in his admin when he was running around. I'd let him know that I was in the area. By uh, using admin mode to spawn a chicken or a seagull or something. I've left the zone and I'm heading south. Right, on the edges. Keep going. I have left the zone. That's it, I'm in the wild, wild west. So I'd be like spawning zombie hordes on top of his head. He'd run off and hide in the house. I'd cruise in there and give him some bandages and some weapons and spawn more. And this <laughs> stupid friendly warfare escalated into mining each other's bases. Where I was covering his base with mines. And he was covering mine with claymores and <laughs> whatever the hell he could find. It all became too much. It was one mind explosion too many. Oh. Oh, this is the mental asylum place, isn't it? Is that what's up there? I don't like it up there. There's a lot of uh, dudes wandering around. Yeah, is this going to go up the hill? I think I want to go down that one, don't I? Let's go that way. Let's head south to sunnier climbs. Yes, so in a, a fit of peak angst annoyment and general dissatisfaction. Tenth got up, went home and took his ball with him. And I can't blame him because I was torturing him ruthlessly. Oh, I'll go for it. So I realised I've got to go out and put myself in the timeout. 
Stop larking around and tormenting people. And let everyone get on with their own scum adventures. And so it's time for me to wander off into the wilderness. Something like old Michael Carradine did in a... What was that Kung Fu show he was in? It was just called Kung Fu, wasn't it? What was it called? Am I making that up? You know where he was like a young Buddhist monk and um, picked up the big burning pot with the spits on the side and then uh, wandered off to America for some strange reason and wandered around righting wrongs and saving people from bullies with his Kung Fu Shaolin monk skills. Now I read somewhere, ooh, I don't know how true it is, that originally they'd cast Bruce Lee for that role, which would have been amazing. But just because of like the inherent, I don't want to say racism, but it's not a different race, it's more like, what's the word when you don't like someone's nationality? I can't think of it. Anyway, nastiness. Nasty, racist, bigoted people blocked putting Bruce Lee as the main character and found a young, handsome 1970s dancer called Michael Carradine who could learn, because he's a dancer, could learn all the martial arts moves quickly and uh, make it look to a, an audience that had never seen martial arts before like genuine fighting skills. I want to turn right. And it was born. I was watching that show as a kid, it was fantastic. I'm already just sort of driving around going, where shall I build a base? Right, so I want to, I'm actually going to have a go at building something that's very hard to raid. So I want to have multiple layers. I want to have doors with traps behind them. I want to have maybe a couple of fake doors. People will waste time lock picking. Get into when they get into it. There's nothing there. Could be a laugh. Wow, isn't it beautiful over here? Seem to have done a really good job of building out the environment here. Look, looks just so real. Wow. That's really good. Very good, scum developers. Very good. Oh! I'm going to squish you. Squish! Oh. Well, that wasn't very good, scum developers. Oh. Now, come on. How did he walk through my car? Hello, you're inside my car. Ooh! Ooh. Ooh, you're inside my You're inside. Ooh, you're inside me. Ooh, I feel very violated. Little things like that are a bit naff, aren't they? Oops. Unless, yeah, I can run them down like this. If you get enough speed. But not if you're just driving around. Very strange. I better be careful. It's kind of knackering my car up. Okay. And gun. That's more like it. What was I waffling about? Ooh! Wow, someone really blockaded off this. Are these regular scum blockades? Or is that someone putting a base blockade? Okay, so what do I want to do? I want to find somewhere that's high, that no one can jump into, that has a water source within walking distance or easy reaching. It's close enough to a local town so that I haven't got to drive everywhere I can walk if I need to. It's close to a base. Now, do I want an abandoned base? So there's something here. Well, this is the airfield, right? I think I want to be down. I think I want to be here. So I think I'm going to follow this road, hang a right, 
toodle along. Let's go. I haven't seen any other players online. I was talking to a couple of uh, OGs earlier today. We were discussing having it PvP or PvE. The ongoing debate. So, changing the configuration. It's bound to be a couple of players that vote with their feet. Because there are some that are like, you know, adamant. I want all PvP. Or it's I want all PvE. And you just can't have that. Hang a right. Or do I do something completely different? Ditch the car. I guess I could sell the car and buy a boat. And toddle off to an island. <laughs> I saw a shit can't drive. Shall I do that? And make like an island fortress? That could be a laugh, couldn't it? This big island here. Mind you, every time I want to leave the island, I'd have to... Wait, I can hear a beeper. Oh, yeah. Did I put a lock? No, I didn't. Let's lock the car up. Lock it, please. Where there's a gas station, there's a beeper. Get my snipe on. Switch it back to single shot, please. <laughs> Where's the BP? Oh, there's two bad shots. Come on, come out from behind there. Beepy, beepy, lemon squeaky. Let's do the old whole breath gag. Doesn't seem to help much. There he is behind him. Oh no. I'm really pissed this one off. He's coming to get me. The headshot's very tricky. Am I supposed to supposed to uh tune this in zeroing in is he 300 meters away how far away is he how do i find out i don't know it's 300 meters times four who else have we got round here Did I get all of them? I thought there was one wandering around there somewhere. There he is. Ah, so that went above his head. Let's make it 500 meters. Does that get more accurate? Well above his head. 800 meters. Okay, let's get down to 200 meters. Actually, you've got to aim low, it seems. He's a tricky one. I'm never going to get that. Oh, another blowy up, man. Give him one shot, shall we? <laughs> well, 
Well, now somewhere like this could be an interesting place, but if I build, I've got to get up high. Is there a way of seeing on the maps? I suppose it's any of these areas for highness, right? I'm going to find somewhere around here. Or maybe up here, the base there. Still, that was fun. Got an empty M16 magazine. I've got some bullets here. Let's get to some reloading, shall we? That is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of bullets. Get ready. Um, I don't need anything down there, do I? I've got gas. I've even got a gas canister in the car. So let's carry on in the direction. Oh, I would like, much as I would like to drive in first person, it makes me seasick. <laughs> so I can't. So that's good to know. There's a fuel stop there. This is a good location. It's a fuel stop at the end of the road. Yeah, so I think I'm going to find myself a spot to build a base publicize it and then say come raid me I'm going to mine it though for sure, I'm definitely going to get some mines and put some mines around there so uh, come at your own risk yeah then I'm close to this naval base which is excellent for gear there's a whole, it's the weapons factory isn't it there's a whole bunch of good stuff down there ok I think I'm kind of in the area I want to be. So, uh, let's find a high spot. Around here. We're high. Let's head up into the mountains up here. Ooh. Hmm. I actually like it right here. No one's going to jump in it, into it from anywhere. Sure, there's lots of cover everywhere for bad guys. Trouble is, of course, I'm outside my safe zone, which means that I can take damage. The car can take damage. The base can take damage. Everything can take damage. I think I'm going to do a little bit of exploring. Wander around here and find the perfect spot. So, come back next time when I'll uh, find something somewhere glorious to build a new defensible base. There's some interesting traps in it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.